I just want to share, share with you guys this key ingredient. This key ingredient, when I mean the key ingredient you need when making your black soap that makes your black soap work like magic. This key ingredient that those big vendors they won't even tell you that they added those things in their black soap. If you want your black soap to clear your acne, if you want it to clear your dark spots, if you want it to whiten up your skin, if you want it to be so active, if you want your if you want your black soap to be active these are the key ingredients you need to consider adding whenever you're making your black soap hello my wonderful people welcome back to my channel if today is your first time of stopping by you are most welcome thank you so so much for stopping by and if you are my returning subscriber oh my god i love you guys mm. i just i love you guys just the way you guys love me okay you all have been showing me love and god bless you all and please 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 if you have not subscribed to my channel Please do consider to subscribe to this channel. Join this family. Let's all grow together. Let's grow together, guys. Okay, and today, if it's today is your first time of seeing my face, my name is Vivian Aris, the founder of Olivino Organic Skincare. So, guys, without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into this video. So, guys, the, <coughs> the number one ingredient I'm going to be talking about today and we all know the soap but most of us don't know how it works most of us don't know um that this soap really works like most of us don't really know that this soap really works first one i'm going to be talking that is my list is that is um sorry the pink ozone soap yes this pink this is pink ozone soap most of us knows about the soap let's look at it here most of us knows about the soap this soap works like magic like when you are making your soup when you're making your black soap do consider to add in the soap if you want that soap to be active like if you if you are especially if you are making a whitening or a lightening black soap even if you are making a whitening black soup consider adding but add in a little in a little um quantity okay Add it in a little quantity if you're making a lightning black soap. Even if you're making a whitening black soap, don't abuse this product. Don't abuse this ozone soap because this ozone soap is so so active. If you abuse it, it's going to like abuse your body. Like that is that is the um, word I can use for that. Okay. If you abuse this soap, it's going to abuse your body. It's going to abuse your skin. If you overuse this product, it's going to cause redness of the face or the body for you. It's going to cause skin irritation for you. Like, believe me, guys. But when you are making your black soap, these are the key ingredients. Like, key ingredients that makes your black soap work. Like, even, even when you add your serums, when you add your oils, when you add um, different things to your black soap, believe me for your black soap to have that shape of whitening mm -hmm. you need to add in your ozone soap it comes in different varieties it has this color it has this um this color it has blue one pink one which other color thing okay, okay this one is also the pink one it has pink blue yellow green yes it has green one so um for so this one like this one works very very well this pink one whitens the skin like this pink one whitens up the skin this blue one also does the work but this one like nourish the skin okay this glows the skin a lot so if you're making for a dark skin or a caramel skin if you're making a soap that you want it to glow your skin consider adding this blue one as well okay consider adding this blue one for this one whitening of the skin it turns it has orange one it has yellow one as well they are all very very active so when you're making a, a soap a whitening black soap consider adding this pink black soap the pink ozone soap this is they call it ozone soap that is the name ozone soap 
so you consider adding up the soap to your black soap it's gonna it's gonna give your black soap a different shape it's gonna make it different it's gonna make it so unique like even when adding the soap you don't need to add too much other ingredients add the soap and probably two serums and oils then go on with your glue oil but endeavor to add a very good glue oil to your soap because it's gonna like it dries up the skin okay it makes your skin to be dry so you know black soap natural even natural black soap dries up your skin because of the alkaline in nature black soap is okay so when making your black soap endeavor to add in your a good humidant right to glow your skin to make your skin nourish your skin so that it's not going to like flake out and it's not going to dry uh, much okay so endeavor to add in your honey is very very important endeavor to add in oils that glows the skin like that moisturize that give moisture to your skin if not your blood soap is gonna go bad like seriously and it's good using fruits to make your black soap as well but that is not why we are here today okay so this one is so so lovely when you are making your black soap guys i can't deceive you like i tell you guys i keep it real and this is my channel i keep it true because you are all my family okay i can't come and deceive you or telling you things that doesn't work or things that don't work it okay so then you now waste your money purchasing something that is not useful for you so when you want to make a white in black soap consider adding some people use this soap alone oh my father my father don't try it's not good though some people you have seen people using the soap alone don't try using the soap alone unless you don't want that like you don't like your skin you don't like yourself maybe you are not planning a good future for your skin if you are not planning a good future for your skin go on and use this thing alone but if you have that future and that um mindset that you want a glowing and a flawless skin people don't use this thing alone it's going to burn it's going to damage your skin this thing is too too active i would like to is it too harsh or too active this is too active it's not meant to use alone but if you dilute it with your african or your ghana black soap it's going to give you a good result it's going to do the work yes this soap is super dope effective like when you are making white new black soap consider adding your ozone pink ozone soap is so 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 effective but when you are making don't add it too much please yeah don't add too much of this soap to your black soap please it's not like when you add too much of it instead of it to do the work it's going to like rotate the skin i don't know if you understand so in this like this in this quantity now in this quantity now if i'm making 500 ml black soap i i i use half of this like this quantity you're seeing this now right you see it i use half of this quantity okay i use half of this quantity to make my 500 ml like 500 grams sorry black soap is in gram 500 gram of my black soap i used half of this quantity in my black soap okay so when using your black and um, when using your um ozone soap no even sometimes i don't even use up to half depending on the kind of soup i'm making and depending on the kind of ingredients i want to add to the soup okay so when making your soup please even if uh, i advise when making your whitening soup i endeavor to add this one and when you're adding it add it in good precaution okay don't overuse it don't over abuse this soup so this is the number one key ingredient those big vendors out there they won't tell you so wow why is your own black soup not working you don't know that is secret behind it my sister this is the secret <laughs> even when you <laughs> even when you um add different things you say wow this soap is not giving you what you want use this soap in your black soap and come back to give a good testimony about this okay guys this is the number one all right then the second one i'm going to be talking about is this soap that people like that so much this soap mekako soap like look at it here like seriously people don't know that this soap works this soap is very like when it might when i mean effective this soap is so so super dope effective if you're looking for a black soap that will clear up your dark spots clear up those acne give you like spotless face or skin when you are making your black soap add your mekako this is mekako soap 
mekako soap okay so endeavor to add your mekako soap this is an antiseptic soap as well this is an antiseptic soap this is going to keep any bacteria any germs you know in your black soap or anything that may arrive when you are using that black soap this is going to help in taking those stuff off from your skin okay this soap works so well for black spots even the two then i can remember then when i was still in, when i was still in school yes when i was still in school i have one terrible black spot in him is this soap the um the soup tube of mekako i'm not really seeing it like that again in the market so this soap works is the soup that i use in clearing how many days three days it clears my spots i don't know if they have reduced the way they did it but then it works like magic but till date i use this soap on my black soap when you're making a black soap hmm? except when you're making a kiddies black soup but when you're making soap that is basically for adults endeavor to add your mekako soap it works like magic in your black soap it works like magic guys believe me believe me i like i try things before i tell you guys okay i try the things before i tell you this mekako soap works like magic endeavor to add them in your black soap and believe you guys you will get a very 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 good black soap hmm? when you add your mekako soap this one will help in taking off any jams it's antiseptic and it's going to help it's also whitening soap it's, yes it's lightening it's lightens yes people don't know but they think it's only antiseptic this soap also lightens like and it take off black spots like crazy it takes off black soap uh, black spots from your skin from your face like crazy guys use this soap and come back for your testimony this soap look at it let me bring it closer so in case you want to um screenshot it okay so this soap is so so super dope effective it's so so effective guys this is so so effective can give it a try and come back and tell me how it was in your skin in your soap in your black soap making black even if you're making a black soap for a dark person caramel skin uh, light um hot chocolates light person white person you can use this soap it is good this is good to go soap anytime any day when you're making a black soap and let me show you guys how the soap looks like look at how it comes it comes like this like i said this is an antiseptic soap it's very very good and the another thing is that when using this soap as well know the proportion the measurement or the quantity you use in your black soap like when i'm making my um black soap 500 gram i use this sometimes i don't use all of this i use more than half of this in my black soap in my 500 gram of my black soap and sometimes i add the whole of this depending on what i'm using you know whenever you're formulating anything your spoolie soap or cream you formulate it based on what you want to treat or what you want that soap to work you can't just wake up in the morning and just say you want to make a soap and you don't have focus or future of what you want that soap to do for you so that is why i said based on what i'm formulating what the kind of soap i'm making that is what gives me the mind of adding if i'll add a whole of this in my 500 gram or if i'll add less of this so when you are using this don't add more than one of this in your 500 gram please guys don't add one more than one of this in your 500 gram that is the maximum you should add the maximum you should add in your 500 gram of your black soap is just the one like this but i would advise you not to add the whole of this at once you can add more than half like 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 this you can add it in your 500 gram believe me it's going to do the work it's not until you add like 10 on your black swan black so before you notice that it's going to work it works like magic as well so guys <coughs> the last i want to talk about <coughs> that i want to talk about is this soap this is um this one here is white Ghana soap why i present it because when i say white Ghana soap people say ours is white Ghana soap which i have not seen white Ghana soap are you People think, I don't know what they think about this, so this is this white Ghana soap. This white Ghana soap is also very, very lovely. Like when you want your soap to, to give you that flawless glow, like flawless glow, let me put it yes. Just adding, shrink in this white Ghana soap and it's so soft, it's not something that is um, strong. 
just string it into your black soap hmm? like this um in your 500 gram of your black soap i would advise you to shrink this up to three or four of this in your 500 gram of your black soap okay shrink three or four of it turn a six four when at the end also this soap will also help your black soap to lather it's going to help it to like foam hmm? it's going to help it to foam very well so this is also very 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 good when you add it to your black soap okay honey is another thing like honey <clears throat> when you add honey to your to your black soap guys believe me when you add honey to your black soap it comes out so well whatever you're making any soap that is the name is black soap endeavor to add in your honey you know guys honey is a good home again so honey is very 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 well that's very very lovely good very good 100 percent when adding to your black soap it comes out so 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 lovely like when you add these things into your black soap believe me your black soap is not going to go bad another ingredient that you guys you guys don't know that is very good to add to your black soap is like fruits make when you're making your black soap add fruits to your black soap guys it's going to come out so lovely just try it just give it a try like seriously you're going to come back to testify like fruits is so good if you add fruit to your black soap guys it's not going to make your breast soap to be so dry on your skin it's, yes it's not going to taste your skin rather it's going to nourish your skin and your skin is going to get all the goodness of that soap like believe me guys it's so so i'm so real for this like i add fruit to my black so even when i'm making kiddies black soap when i'm making um when i'm making kid black soap when i'm making um, my black soap base i add my fruits like my fruits okay i'm going to be dropping that video very very soon for you guys okay so that is another thing that's another key ingredient to when you want to make your black soap fruit is another key ingredient that makes your black soap looks stand out out of all black soap okay that fruit is Alright, so guys, this is basically for this video. I don't want to take much of your time, guys. If you have not subscribed to this end, please, 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 please consider subscribing to this channel. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on your notification bell in order to be notified each time I drop any video. And don't forget to give this video a good thumbs up. Like and share my video. And also share this video to your loved ones, your families, and on your social media.